So I'm sure most of you already know that physical future Gohan's banner will be dropping on Global tomorrow night at reset. Or maybe it's tonight. Or maybe it's already here. I guess that all depends on when you're actually watching this video. Sorry, I got totally sidetracked. It happens all the time. But the point is that at the time of this filming, physical future Gohan is only about 24 hours away from arriving on the global version of the game. And maybe for some of you, the decision to summon or skip is a very obvious one. But I know that there are people out there right now who are a little bit on the fence and not really sure what they should do for this upcoming banner. So if you're one of those people, then hopefully with this video, I can help you make that decision. Now, what we're doing today is pretty standard for my, I guess, should you summon style videos. Basically, we're gonna start off with an overview of the new unit himself so they can see what he actually does and I'll give you my opinions on whether or not I think he's a good unit because I feel like that's pretty important. And then we're gonna jump over to a look at the banner as it was on JP to use as a reference for what we can expect on Global because I think they'll keep things relatively similar. And then last but not least, we're gonna do an overview of the brand new category that this unit is bringing over to Global, which is specifically the Future Saga category. We can take a look at exactly how good the category is. And I am doing something a little bit different here as well, which is we're gonna compare that category to another category that was just released on JP recently. And you'll see exactly why I'm doing that. I feel like it could affect your decision on whether or not you wanna summon for this guy when he drops in like a day. So without further ado, let's jump right into it, starting with the unit himself, Physical Super Saiyan Future Gohan. Now, his leader skill is Future Saga category, key plus three. HP plus 130%, attack and defense plus 170%, excellent. His super attack is Explosive Dance, raises attack and defense for one turn, and causes immense damage to enemy. The attack and defense buff is a 30% buff for those of you who are curious. His passive is Hope for the Future, attack plus 100%, and raises defense by up to 100% as well. The less HP remaining, the greater the defense boost. So I believe that 100% HP, he's actually gonna get no defense on his passive, but of course, the lower your HP is, the higher his defense will be. And he also gets damage received minus 10% at the start of every turn up to 50%. So by the fifth turn, he's gonna be tanking extremely, extremely well. His links are Golden Warrior, All in the Family, Super Saiyan, Experienced Fighters, Dismal Future, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. Of course, some excellent, excellent links in there. Prepare for Battle and Fierce Battle especially are super common, but there's also some niche ones in there like Dismal Future, All in the Family. So overall, I feel like his Link set is decent. And he has two categories, Hyper Saiyans and Future Saga. So that's pretty much all you need to know about this guy. I don't think there's anything I really missed. Uh, it just says here, raises SA multiplier and defense by 30% for one turn, which is what I said for his super attack buff. So that's pretty much it. That is physical Super Saiyan Future Gohan there for you. And overall, I think he is an excellent unit. He's gonna do Quite a bit of damage, 100% attack on his passive, of course, and the immense damage. Also, the fact that he does raise his own attack and defense. But the more important thing is that he is an amazing, amazing tank guy. So, I don't really see any flaws in this unit, except for the fact that some of his links might be a little bit iffy. But overall, amazing unit. Everybody would be lucky to have him. And uh, he fits very well on his own team, of course, Future Saga, but as well as Hybrid Saiyans. And also, uh, Super Physical could use him as well. So. Great unit overall, can't really complain about it much, but before we make any recommendations, let's take a look first at the banner and the category. So we're gonna jump over to the banner now, and this was the banner on JP. And we're gonna move down here to the featured units. So here they are, and this banner was actually widely regarded as an excellent banner, and I'm sure you guys can see why. So of course we have physical future Gohan over here, but there's also the two androids who Previously were actually very very bad, but now that they have the Doken Awakenings, they're actually solid units in their own right So they're actually not too bad if you guys are missing dupes uh, This Rage Trunks is an excellent tank and uh, of course Vegito Blue is I believe still the hardest hitting TUR in this entire game And if you're missing dupes for him, which I am, I think I only need one more dupe I need one more dupe to rainbow him so you know, I would love to pull him on this banner. And of course, SSJ3 Barlock. If he's still on this banner when it comes to global, then this will be the first time, I believe, since his own banner 
that he's returning to the global version. So for those of you who lucked out, or I guess didn't luck out, <laughs> and struck out on his original banner, this might be another chance to pull him. Uh, this Int Rage Trunks isn't very good anymore these days, but I guess you could still pull some dudes for him if you're missing some. And the rest are just SR, so that's not really important. But overall, excellent, excellent banner. I, I guess the thing that makes it so good is the fact that you have the main Dokkan Fest unit, as well as this Vegito Blue, who is widely regarded as one of the best URs, and Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, who leads one of the best categories in the entire game, and also is one of the best support units in the game as well. So it's just a really good banner, guys. Uh, I can't really say anything bad about it. And, you know... It is tempting. It's really, really tempting. It's It's got a lot of value. So the unit is good, the banner is good, but how about the category? Now let's jump over to the category as shown on DBZ Space again. And there is the trunks there. Or sorry, there is the Gohan. The trunks was beside it, so I got a little bit confused. But LR Trunks actually also leads this category just with a much lower percentage. I believe he gives 77%, is it? I think it's, oh, it's 70% attack. Uh, HP attack and defense to future saga units. So there he's also an option here for leader, but of course if you want to run the category to its optimal in its optimal state, then you do want this future Gohan. But moving down here we got we got uh, LR trunks, we got you know the these two androids of course and a bunch of other trunkses. Oh look, um this guy isn't on global, but he's also in this category, the brand new int Goku Black slash Rose, he transferred into Rose eventually. Um, we have LR Goku Black as well, we have Vegito Blue, we have the Rose, we have the AGL Rose, SDR Rose, both of them are here. Um, we have LR Goku Black like I mentioned. There's overall, there's a lot of really good units. I'm sure I, I didn't talk about someone that really deserved to mention, but you guys, know, you guys get the point. It's a great, great category. A lot of strong units, and the fact that you get, oh, LR Vegito Blue, of course, so the fact that you get 107% attack as well means that they're going to be hitting extremely, extremely hard, so, you know, category is great, the uh, unit is really good as well, and the banner is excellent, so I guess the logical conclusion is that I'm going to recommend that everybody summon, right, but that's not really the case, so... As I told you guys, I want to compare this category to another category that was recently just dropped on Global or on JP as well, and it is the Time Travelers category. Of course, the name could change when it comes to Global, but at the moment, it's only on JP and people are calling it the Time Travelers category, so I'm going to go with that. And it is led by this brand new Int Goku Black, right? So let's take a look at what this category actually has. So, interesting. So it has all these trunks as well. Okay. And uh, has SSJ3 Bardock, has LR Goku Black, has this LR AGL free to play trunks as well. Um, does it have LR LR trunks? It has LR trunks too. But in addition to all that stuff, it also has LR Cell. It also has LR Bojack, which I don't believe the other category had. It also has LR LR uh, Vegito Blue, which other with the future category did have. But um, just pointing that out because he's an excellent unit that could be used on both. Uh, Vegito Blue, of course, the Rose. So basically, what I'm trying to say here, guys, is that this category, the Time Travers category, is basically the Future Saga category, but even better. Like, quite a bit better, actually, because it's got a lot more LRs. It's got all the best units from the Future Saga category, and they just threw in a bunch of other great options as well. It's a much bigger, bigger category, so it's easier to build teams for it, too. So... The reason I'm showing you guys this category in, in conjunction with Future Saga 1 is because I'm trying to say that the Future Saga category already got replaced on JP, guys. Physical Future Gohan's category already got replaced on JP before it even came to Global. And the fact that we know this now, it, okay, here's the great thing about being a Global player, right? The fact that we can kind of be like fortune tellers, we can kind of see into the future, we can see what's on the horizon. And this is a perfect representation of why that's such a great thing, because honestly, because we know that Ingoku Black is coming with this category, it doesn't make sense to really summon for Future Gohan, at least for running his category, because it's going to be replaced as soon as Ingoku Black drops, and... That's part of the reason why I feel like a lot of people should skip just for that reason. Because if you want to just wait a little bit, maybe three months, maybe four months, maybe it'll be even less. Maybe they decide to surprise us and release a little bit earlier. They've done that before. Bandai has, you know, switched things up when it comes to global sometimes. So 
Maybe we can get him even sooner than the expected release date. And let's be real, guys. The Time Travelers category is just significantly better than the Future Saga category. So there we go. We did an overview of both categories, as well as the banner, and also the unit itself. I guess it's time to make our recommendation now. And to be honest, this is a bit of a tough recommendation because like I said, I do really think he's a great unit. I do think that the banner is very, very valuable. And I think that the Future Saga is a good category, but you gotta take into account so many other factors like the fact that Time Travelers is a lot better. We know Ink Google Black is on the horizon. Just not really sure when, but it should be within the next three to six months. So not too long of a wait. And in addition to that, we also know that Christmas is right around the corner. And also, maybe delayed for Global, still not confirmed yet, but Broly and Gogeta Blue are also on the horizon. Um, at the latest, January for Global. I'm still hoping, fingers crossed, still hoping for that dual JP and Global release. But if it doesn't happen, then the latest it will be is January. And I'm sure we can all wait for a couple more weeks. We've waited long enough already, right? So, either way, um... There's just so much around the corner, including Goku Black and Christmas and all that stuff that I just talked about that I can't recommend people to spend stones on this right now. I really can't recommend people to spend stones on physical future Gohan as much as I like the unit and all those other factors. It it would just it would not necessarily a waste, but not a wise expenditure for your stones. I'll go with that. I don't think it would be wise to spend stones right now when you know what's happening. And I'm sure I'm not the only one that recommends that. And I'm sure a lot of you watching right now already knew that. But I just want to reaffirm that point that some crazy stuff is happening on both versions. Like, it, it, even if Global gets it a little bit later, it's still gonna come soon. And you want to make sure you have as many stones as possible because you never know with games like Dokkan how many stones will be enough to pull the unit you want. You might get the unit you want in five stones, or it might take a thousand stones or two thousand stones. You never know, right? So. I would say save as many stones as you possibly can. If you haven't st saved yet, which you should have been, then start saving now and keep saving until at least Christmas. And uh, if not, then maybe even beyond that to Broly and Gogeta Blue. It's gonna be totally worth it, trust me guys. So at the end of the day, my recommendation here right now is do not summon on the banner. And I'm sure it doesn't come as a huge surprise to a lot of you, but I think some people maybe just needed all that information, that overview we just did, to really affirm that that point and you know come to that conclusion. So that's just my opinion. By the end of the day, the ultimate decision is up to you because it's your stones, it's your game. And if you guys really like Ultimate Gohan and he's like your favorite character, or it's just your favorite card, or something about him is just really, really awesome to you, then go for it, summon, and I'm sure you'll be happy if you pulled him. If you don't, you get shafted, then that's just that, how the game is sometimes, right? But that's all I really have to say for today. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys are going to be doing for this banner when it drops. Are you going to be skipping? Or are you going to maybe drop a couple multis in trying to pull that Gohan? Or maybe SJ3 Bardock if you never pulled him? Or another dupe for Vegito Blue? Or maybe you don't have Vegito Blue. I don't really know. Everybody's different, right? So. Yeah, let me know what you're gonna do, but that's my recommendation. I'm gonna say don't summon, do not, don't do it, save your stones. But that's gonna do it for today's video. As always, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all of my latest content. But I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.